Hello, hello, Mana here, and welcome to day 9 of Indie RPG Month. Today we are checking out the demo for Sinnoh Stone, possibly Sino Stone, but I'm gonna go with Sinnoh Stone until someone corrects me. And uh, yeah, I just ran into this recently, it looks really good. Um, I also wanted to note right here at the start that if you do like the look of this, it does have a Kickstarter that's currently active with about a week left, so I'll make sure to link that in the description. And um, yeah, demo is available on Steam if you want to check it out, also, you know, all the usual links in the description, but... Yeah, no, it looks really good. It's kind of got a bit of a, um, some of those Undertale vibes, kind of with the combat and stuff, it seems like. Uh, Steam page references choices being important and stuff. Uh, I don't know, it just looked good. I, yeah. And also had a weird character with, like, a strange love heart looking head that was also kind of, I don't know, strange. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know, just uh, looked good, so thank you for watching and hope you're doing well. Oh, I just wanted to also note, while it shouldn't matter to you guys, I am playing in windowed mode because I couldn't seem to figure out how to get full screen working. Uh, Alt Enter, F11, F4, etc. None of them seem to work. Uh, I also just realized I don't think control is supported. Um, the directional keys were working for up and down, but nothing seemed to actually click into new game. So going to swap to keyboard and mouse and you know, we'll see how we go. In the beginning was the Sinnoh Stone. Its power was revered by all. From its essence, three siblings emerged. These hallowed beings were to be the anointed guardians of the world, the Celestial Quorum. In an effort to prevent the omnipotence of the Sinnoh Stone from being used to destroy the world, the Celestial Quorum fragmented the Sinnoh Stone into five fragments. They entrusted these fragments to five acolytes. The acolytes were to be dispersed across the land, never to meet again lest the Sinnoh Stone be reassembled. They were to remain sequestered in their abodes until a sacred being known as the Sinnoh Bearer arose to fulfill the prophecy. The prophecy stated that the Sinnoh Bearer would assemble the fragments and destroy the Sinnoh Stone. After its destruction, the Celestial Quorum would no longer be needed to maintain order. The harsh barriers which ensured the Sinnoh Stone would never be assembled by a corrupt being could be dissolved. An everlasting peace could be established. Thusly, our story begins. Hello? Hello? Do we have control? Oh no, okay. It's all automatic. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. I'm assuming that's us. And we are not the speediest. Or well, we really don't give a shit about anyone uh, knocking at the door anyway. Either one. Hi. Mr. Howley, so good to see you, my friend. How are things? Anyway, sorry to bother you like this, but I figured I'd stop by for a morning chat like old pals do, you know. Alright, alright. I'll cut to the chase then. I should have known you're not one for small talk. 
So, I don't know if you've noticed, but a couple of your neighbours, my tenants, decided to go on some wilderness adventure. No big deal, right? Well, yeah, until you hear what they did, and when I tell you, oh boy. Long story short, they left without a word, and then... They didn't pay their rent in advance. They'll be gone for two weeks and their rent is due in 13 days. I guess in their mind, I'm just supposed to wait a day for my rent as if I run this place off of donations. The audacity. Anyways, I'm done playing games. I don't deal with squatters. Sure, they've paid their rent on time for the past 10 years. But once you let them get away with it once, word will spread and I'll be forced to sell my luxury car collection. I'll be broke. What's a belligerent millionaire like me supposed to do, Morton? I'll tell you what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to come to trained operatives like you and hire them to bring these squatters to justice. So that's why I'm here. I want to hire you to go and find these vacationing tenants and drag their lazy butts over here to pay up. What will you say? I mean, I feel like it'd be easier to just go collect the rent from them. Either way excessive, obviously, but nonetheless, uh, sure, paydays are good. Sounds like an easy job. I knew it. I knew I could count on you to bring those free lose to justice. You're a man of principle. I mean, not really, but I like money. Oh, by the way, you do work for free, right? Oh, no dance that. I can tell by your expression the answer is a resounding yes. Anything for a good cause, right? Okay, I've misunderstood myself. <laughs> Fine, I'll give you 150C if you can bring them to me. Now please make it snappy. Okay, that, that's more like it. I got a meeting with a prospective client in a few hours. Gotta get myself pumped for it, you know? No better way to do that than by squeezing every last penny out of freeloading tenants, am I right? Anyways, they said something about traveling to Mount Jambi, which is south of here, as you know. If you need more information, I'll be at the uh, Pubulum Pub right next door getting ready for my next meeting. Talk to you in a bit, Morton. Okay. Uh, how do we move and stuff then? I was using enter to go by the dialogue. I'm just sort of a... Uh, I'm not used to not having... Yeah, see, controller sort of works. Can I click on things in here? No. Okay. We'll stick with mouse and keyboard. Can I use AWSD? Oh, I can. This is good. A Matiroshka doll collection sits in the cabinet. Matiroshka? Mat Matrioshka? Sure. The Art of How. Art of the How. A memoir by Morton Howley. Huh. We've written our memoirs, eh? A cozy fire is burning. Why is that around that way? Looks funny. Can we sleep? Damn, this feels like a... You know something I've noticed? I feel like... Um, in games... Um... Protagonists rarely have anything more than a single bed. I feel like that big look, that bed looked kind of large for games. I don't, I don't know, like compared to him. But then I realized, like, why does it, like, why do game characters never have larger beds? I don't know. Do most people have single beds if they are only one person? I don't know. I've had like a queen bed for like most of my adult life, so I've never really thought about it. Okay, I'm rambling. Let's move on. No need to talk about beds all day. <laughs> Humbleton Village, eh? I will say, I do hope that controller support's added sooner than later. I just... A, it's like, I'm sure it'll be fine. But it feels like I'm, like, dealing with the lack of controller or something, you know? Um, I know it's a demo and everything, so I'm not picking at the game. Um, but I do feel with a game like this, it, it feels weird to me having WSD and Enter as, like, my sort of set up, yeah. Anyway, more rambling. Do we need to go to the pub? I mean, gotta go to the pub. Do you have chat? Ah, Knights at, is it Pubulum? Yeah. Knights at Pubulum are something else, dude. I've been following tonight's entertainment for years. He never disappoints. Okay, just gotta check if they have multiple pieces of dialogue. Grr. Bar's pretty busy tonight, eh? I, for one, couldn't be less happy about that. 
I will say though, the sheep over there looks delicious. I'd love to devour her. Uh, no, not like that. I mean, I think either way. <laughs> her, yes, darling. Whatever my dear Percy said. A man of such grace and charisma as he must always be right, no? Eh, uh, no. Problem is renowned the world over for its legendary ambience. My mistress and I have traveled the world and dined at the finest establishments. Yet still, we're drawn to this place. If only the bartender wasn't some lowly canine, this place could really use some feline energy. I suppose that's why we're here. Sure. Hey man, step aside. You're ruining my vibe, man. Alright, man. Hey there, Hallie. As I mentioned earlier, the freeloading tenants said they were going to Mount Jambi. That's south of Humboldt Village, in case you forgot for whatever reason. I'll be waiting here for when you're ready to turn them in. Well, I'll head south, uh, uh, south? <laughs> south. Shortly. Ah, are you Morton Howley, former acolyte and master of the Healing Howl, Ardor Move? Well, I am a devotee of yours and indeed of the history of the acolytes. I myself have had the fortune of witnessing a most tantalizing event which will surely pique your interest. Let me tell you about it. I know you of all people will be intrigued. Oh, never mind then. Sorry I was a nuisance. I'll just continue drinking on my own then. What? Is that because I tried to walk away? I pressed down because I didn't know what was happening. Uh... Let me tell you about it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Never mind then. Oh. Okay, I thought this guy tried to walk away. I guess he just does that? <laughs> okay. Shush. That stupid old reindeer walked in and he won't shut up with all his nerdy stuff. I think he thinks he saw something really exciting in the last town he was in. It's like, okay, dude, chill. I'm just trying to enjoy the bar and you're totally killing the vibe. But can we play table tennis? It would seem not. Alright. Where else we got going on? Man, reality, service with a heart? Oh, right. That's, that's him. Right, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. The hospital? Why, well, hello, darling. I don't believe we've met. I'm Nurse Peony. Oh, I, I don't know how else I'm going to go with Peony. I operate a small charitable organization alongside my little friends, the Rejuven, the Rejuvamates. We're happy to heal your wounds at any time, free of charge and in the presence of the adorable Rejuvamates. Take that, Sweden. Only joking. I heard you're heading off uh, f on an errand for Mr. Hartman, our generous benefactor. So if you ever find yourself suffering from aches and pains, feel free to visit one of our many conveniently located healing centers. Given that you're working for Harold Hartman, I'm sure you'll be paying us a visit. Happy healing. Okay, got some Pokemon Center vibes going on. Cool, cool. Oh, nice picture of them all together. There's a note at the bottom of the frame. Nurse Peony's employee party. Oh. Thought it was going to be something exciting. <laughs> Are you alright, dude? You look like drugged out or something. But I don't know what's going on with you. How can I help you today? Say, you're not a patient. I see often. My name's Dr. Greensley, and I'm one of the main doctors here. So, based on your age, it seems like you're probably coming in for a colonoscopy, right? Oh, just in for a tour? Ah, oh, very sorry then. That's awkward. Straight to the colon, eh? So I see how it is. Hello there. My name is Dr. Bluebird. I am one of the doctors on staff here. I wear many hats at this organization, but one might say my principal role is selecting the artwork. I am quite the connoisseur of fine artwork, and I'm always on the lookout for new pieces. Good, good luck, buddy. Good luck. Is there a sprint button? I feel like the walk's a little slow. Why, hello. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Dr. Pinklesworth. I, I, alongside my two colleagues, are the main doctors who run Nurse Peony's charitable organization. However, as the name implies, we rely on the donations of our benefactors. Hartman Realty has a kindly supported us for a long time. But since you are his friend, we are pleased to offer you our services free of charge. Are you? Not sure I trust getting anything from for free from that guy. 
like the bill's got to come later. Also, is our health that green bar in the top left corner? I'm only just noticing it. Oh, okay. Doesn't show out here. So I guess maybe it is. Hello. Top of the morning to you, rabbit. Hey, want to hear a joke? Why did the frog cross the road? Crickets. Ah, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Hello again. Today's produce is here. Let me know if you'd like some. Uh, maybe. Some delicious looking produce is displayed. Ah, huh. guess we ain't getting any. Why, well, hello there. I don't believe we've made acquaintance. My name is Evers Darlow, and I'm a scribe and renowned historian. My Evers Dar I Evers Darlow? I never know how to deal with names in games. <laughs> Evers Darlow, Evers Darlow, Evers Darlow, Evers Darlow, Evers Darlow. Oh crap! I didn't mean to press forward. I'm gonna do Evers Darlow. Now that sounds weird. Evers Darlow. Sure. Vastalo. Probably won't even need to say his name again, but anyway. <laughs> Currently, the focus of my research is on the history of the Acolytes. We begin by exploring the ancient roots of the Acolytes. That means I need to document the lives of the oldest Acolytes first before they keel over and their stories get lost to time forever. So, that's why I've been hoping to speak to you. No offense intended, by the way. I'm just a matter-of-fact individual, is all. Anyways, you may find that we'll be crossing paths quite a bit. I promise I'm not stalking you. I'm merely researching every aspect of your life by closely following all of your movements and documenting my findings in my journal. <laughs> in fact, why don't I document this encounter right now? Ah, uh, I was thinking it sounded savish. Excellent. Give me one moment to take good notes of all that has transpired. Excellent. Your progress has been thoroughly documented. Okay. Can we just like, is it gonna be, we meet again. Shall I document your journey up to this point? Oh good. I want to see what that line was I missed, but anyway. All good. Okay, we got the shop. Is there anyone else hanging around? Yeah, I feel like this walk speed makes sense, but a, a sprint button would be very nice. Also, do I have like a... Oh my god, toggle full screen. Ah, I feel like that should really be outside of the game menu. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this doesn't break things. Okay, I don't think that did anything for you guys. Oh my god, it feels so big now. Before it was like... About a quarter... Maybe a third... Of my, probably like a quarter... Of my desktop. <laughs> yeah, much nicer. Well, it feels very bright. Welcome to Spud Mart. Every day is great at your Spud Mart. Every day is great at your sp Yeah, okay. Well, except for today. You see, we're currently in the middle of some renovations and don't have anything to sell. Check back with us soon. Yeah. Well, that's disappointing. I don't know if that's a game thing or a demo thing. Hard to say. Like, as in, is that a story-based thing where it stocks later or... Yeah. Can we go elsewhere? Yeah, one thing, I have no idea how long this demo is, so... I, uh, I allowed for three hours, so... <laughs> if it's, uh, short, I'll play another one. Uh... Help! Please, sir, help me! I'm being chased by a pestilent Stinkelstein! Come on, help me, please! I'll find someone to repay you! Quick, take this battle stone, you're gonna need it! I'll explain how to battle the creature. I just need you to do all the heavy lifting. It's the downside in having no limbs. Okay. You got this. I believe in you. Hello. Alrighty, let me help you out here. We're now in a battle, believe it or not. Don't ask me why everything around us has changed. It's just the way things work around here. Anyways, you'll be able to make your move first. I suggest you press the fight button to select your move. 
press the button, you take your index finger and... What? I thought everyone needed their handheld. Whatever, just give it a try. So how do I actually... Am I still using... Okay, so I don't think, I don't think uh, mouse is involved. I assume it's just enters good then. Wait, what? What? Hit the... What? With what? What? I don't know what I was supposed to do. Well done. You have an astonishing talent for button pressing. However, if you think you can attack a monster for free, think again. It's his time to retaliate. Remember the battle stone I gave you? You can use that stone to dodge his incoming attacks. You can use the arrow keys to move around. You can also use the WSD keys as well. I have no idea how I was supposed to hit the blue things. I pressed up as well as enter, but nothing happened. The arrow keys are on the right side of the keyboard and the WSD keys can be found. <laughs> All good. Sorry, I'll stop being so patronizing. Also, you may see some mysterious rings pop into existence. Those are turn rings. You need to collect those to stop the enemy's attack. Okay, shoot. You better shut up now. Brace yourself. Stingle size attacks are coming. Okay. Oh, so we're like literally like a weird thing? Okay. It's kind of strange. Do I have to keep dodging? No? Okay, I didn't I did not do well. And I don't know how to do this. It doesn't like what? How am I supposed to do it? Success! You really seem to have done this before, old wolf. By the way, you may have noticed some of the Stingle Signs vomit balls had a faint blue outline. For some reason, those won't hurt you. In fact, I think they're full of a magical substance known as Ardor. If you hit them, it will fill your Ardor gauge. Think of it like MP. It functions similar to that, or just too fancy and unique to call it that. Anyways, I definitely recommend ramming into them when you can. That being said, no one ex except the Acolytes have mastered Ardor moves. So on second thought, you should probably just ignore them. Wait, what? You're a retired Acolyte? And you know an Ardor move? Man, today is my lucky day. Your Ardor gauge isn't full yet, but I really want to see that Ardor move in action. Here, I have some spare Ardor. Use it to perform your Ardor move. Your special Ardor move is Healing How. It will heal you in, if you're in a pinch. Of course, I don't know why I'm telling you that. You're the former Acolyte who mastered it. You got this. Go ahead and finish this single sign off for good. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen, bud. Man, they're actually like pretty fast compared to us. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Um, I mean, do I use the Ardor? I guess try it. Wait, what is what? What do I? Am I collecting hearts? Is that the idea? Uh, okay, I think I did okay on that. Yeah, these are like, these are actually speedy. I think I need to really watch their trajectory a little more than I am. Oof. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand how to do damage though. Do I have to click with the mouse? Because that'd be kind of weird if everything is WASD and enter, then you got to move your hand over to use the mouse after pressing enter? Oof. No, it is definitely not that and I clicked on something. I have no idea. Oh crap, crap. <laughs> I was trying to leave the recording for a second because it went encoding overloaded. Okay, well, that's good. Uh... Oh, maybe it's spacebar, actually. I was just sitting here like, thinking, like, what, what keys would it be? Because nothing else has really been opened up. But it might be spacebar. Oh, it is. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah, I believe like these are... Maybe not as bad as I think, but... 
I feel like it's pretty hard to avoid damage. Uh, I don't know. I've only done a few rounds, so it's hard to judge. They're quite speedy, though. I just feel weird turning into, like, a weird grey disc. But, uh, not a big deal. Okay, that is that makes sense now. Okay. WSD, space, and enter. Can we just, like, go straight up to the enemy? Okay, sorry about the awkward cut. I had to sneeze. Don't mind me. I assume hitting the red one fails you, or...? Not sure. But we did manage. Great job, you defeated the enemy. I mean, it was a tutorial enemy, but anyway. What will you do next? Oh, okay. We got the spear and kill stuff. Hmm. Let, let's go the spare way for the demo. Just because, I, I don't know. I feel like with killing, it's sort of pretty straightforward. Uh, but I don't know what's going to happen if we spare. Stinglestein isn't the brightest of creatures, but he knows an act of kindness when he sees one. He grunts in appreciation. You're extremely flattered. Well, we won. That's something. Maybe a tutorial fight, but we still got XP. Uh, gold zero, gold gain. Oh, okay, right, right. I'm curious to see how that plays out long term, how it feels. Phew. What a relief. I thought I was a goner. Something strange is going on here. All of a sudden, the peaceful wilderness forest has turned into a dangerous place, crawling with terrible creatures. What's worse is they seem to be under some kind of nefarious mind control. I wish I could say what's going on, but it's beyond me. Ah, where are my manners? Thanks for the hand, my friend. I'm impressed. We make a good team, I've noticed. You do all the fighting, take all the beating, assume all the risks, and I provide exhilarating commentary. Seems like a pretty dynamic duo, right? Even though I may not look like it, I'm actually a walking encyclopedia. My name's Liddington. Yeah, my name's Liddington. And if you're planning on traveling far, then I could be an invaluable asset to you. What do you say? Sure. Ah, and here I was thinking you were an antisocial. Never judge a book by its cover. So, now that we're officially partners in crime, I'll stick around and help you out in whatever ways I can. I'll make sure you always know I'm here by reminding you of every little detailed thing this world has to offer. Hey, listen. Ah, uh, gotcha. It's nothing. I just like to randomly shout that as you explore the world. I have nothing else to contribute at this time. Okay. So we have a party member? I didn't notice it's... Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay. I was about to say, it's kind of reminding me of Meg's Monster in the JRPG style, but there's not really like some of the traditional menus and things. Which I was about to say there's no menu, but um, there is a... This is the inventory, by the way, pressing E. So, interesting. Oh, the items. I just realized there is an items thing there. It's grayed out above status. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting uh, hiccups here too. Anyway. Oof, okay, that was a little that was a little quick. So I think before, my main concern with that battle is it it feels like the battles are gonna be quite slow. Uh oh, we've got like all the options now, wow. I mean we did spare one, can we befriend? I I don't know. Stingleton is too busy smelling his own bath. He doesn't really seem too interested in being friends right now. And to be honest, that's probably for the... Best... Uh... Oh, wait, can I... I can't actually scroll down to... Probably for the better, oh. Your attempt at fostering a strong intellectual fraternity was, well, not successful. Okay. I assume that burns a turn, yeah. Careful, we don't have a lot of health. Oh crap. Yeah, that was like the one thing, because uh, I don't, I, I like this style of battle, but I do feel like it's potentially going to be quite slow. 
Oh shit. Three damage, ah. So you don't fail, but you get a penalty if hitting the red. You kind of have to see what the random encounter of uh, rates like. Oof. Or if I don't just wipe. Cause uh, hey. Good, good. So it's only five. I probably should have used the heal. Eh. Maybe. Oof. Give me some of that. Do we have enough Ardor? I don't... Is it the blue bar needs to be full? Ah, okay. I think we, we may actually have to go and heal. Great job, you defeated the enemy. What will you do? Oh, so you can choose every time. Spare? Gah! Translation, your display of mercy will reverberate throughout the heavens as a sign of true goodwill. The above translation may be slightly embellished. Okay. <laughs> so Ardor actually had health in that status menu too. But I guess not involved with battle though. Uh, where did we hear? Oh, right, we had the hospital, didn't we? Yeah, we're gonna have to go in here. Let's see if this hospital's really free. Hello? Well, look at you. You look like you could use some of our medicine. Medi medicaments? 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 Is that a real word? Would you like to check in and heal? Sure. Excellent, right this way. Oh, okay. Very nice. Definitely got the Pokemon healing down. Nope, oh, all good. All right. All right, let's go find those damn vacationers. <laughs> I mean, that's... Yeah, pretty much it, eh? Have you not noticed all the violent creatures wandering out all, all around here? Something is definitely not right. Woodward Forest has always been a peaceful place. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Uh. Yeah, I can't. I, can't, I was tempted to run. Which I feel like isn't a good sign. But. Because I do like this combat system. I do. I just feel like. At least for me personally. I could see myself getting tired of random encounters. Too fast. Which I don't, I don't know how that works. Like I said, I do like it. But I, I can also feel that, you know. I mean, you probably get a rhythm down. Um, I might be judging too early. So, I don't know. Take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, obviously. Like, it's a demo, so. Just sort of thinking aloud here. Ah, uh, we keep sparing them, so I guess so. Yeah, same message as that first one. Yeah, I don't know if there'll be any... I don't, yeah, I don't know what the consequences are. I assume some things you probably let live and there is negative consequences. Well, we got a level. Oh, okay. You're now level 2. Select an attribute to level up. Yeah. So, increase total HP 100-105. Increase power of regular and ardor attacks by 5%. Increase the amount of gold you receive after each battle by 5%. Huh. That's interesting. I like the gold one's interesting, but I I usually end up hoarding gold more than I end up needing gold in games. Uh yeah, I feel like I want attack. I thought that might have been one of the vacationers, but I guess they're, they're probably together. Hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> How are you doing hanging out over there? And, oh, we did five damage again. Hmm. Yeah, both of the attacks in a row here were five. 
So we got f we got five percent more power, but it doesn't seem to make an impact with the uh, amount of damage we're doing. Which I guess, yeah, I, mean, I guess if I guess if we're doing five damage, that makes sense. I think this um this transition screen at the end here could be a little faster too. I think that just it just sort of adds to the battle taking a bit too long, like. I don't, I don't want to like harp on the battle system, it's just, I, I've played games like this where I get that feeling of, um, specifically that I like the battle system, but I, I enjoy and appreciate it far more with the significant battles than I do with the random encounters. I don't know if anyone else runs into that type of thing. Sheesh, I mean, seeing a lot of crazy scary creatures around here. Something isn't right. These guys seem like they're under some kind of mind control. Be careful. Okay. Probably not a good thing. Also, I didn't really think about it earlier, but I guess we're only going to be able to save at select spots. Hopefully that's not... bad. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work, like, because does that mean if we wipe, we go back to that last manual save? Hopefully not. We speak in parable to you now. Don't ask why and don't ask how. You see the boulder just below? Past it, you cannot go now. You cannot now go. To proceed a puzzle you must solve. To test your wits and your resolve. Nine buttons like before your feet. You'll find the solution is quite discreet. Explore this jungle, then you'll see. A hidden note to you from me. And one more thing to aid your quest. In case you need to try to make a guess, press the red button on the floor. And you can try to guess once more. Okay, I like puzzles. Puzzles are good. Hmm. Uh. What? Are we getting healed? Did we... Oh. What? Oh. So it was like driving us to the hospital. Okay. I feel like this could have a cool transition screen. It, uh, I wasn't sure what was happening because it went black for a while there. Well, uh, while we're here... Oh yeah, because it, it snaps back here immediately, doesn't it? Like when you go from hospital to here, that you don't really get the black screen, which I understand this transition because you can hear like the, the sound, but it does hang for a bit long. Sorry again, I'm <laughs> please I'm not trying to like pick a thing, it's just you know, thinking off the top of my head, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, nine. A meme lord. Wait, is that is that really the code? Like... Wait, how do we push buttons? Ah, okay. Okay, hey, awkwardly. Because that was... Like, do you press them again? Or do I have to reset it? Huh. Okay. Well, there wasn't really a puzzle then, was it? The path has opened up. Which is good, but I, I, I feel like that wasn't a puzzle. Because it's like literally just the road along gave you the exact sequence without any... Like there wasn't anything to figure out, right? Good job, you did it. The cabin's open. The coast is clear. The boulder's broken. Ah. Huh. I like puzzles, but that didn't really feel like one. Still good, though. Uh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if you could do... I mean, I guess it sort of makes it fast travel -y. Because, I, like, in the back of my head just then, I thought, oh, I should go back to the hospital because I can go out and get a quick save. But obviously, I, I can't actually leave the hospital. <laughs> I don't know. I always get... I, I just get paranoid in games without saves. That's sort of my default. Mainly because I just, like, with certain games, replaying parts of it is sort of part of the experience in a sense. Like, you got to get through to get to where you were. 
but I feel like with RPGs, it never feels good replaying a section, like, in the same way. Also, I'm just assuming we have to move this. <laughs> ah! Well, there we go. The lily pad has formed a bridge. And obviously this may have autosaves, may have lots of the meaning. I'm just speaking in general. Yeah, yeah. Dad, I am really liking this so far. I just wanna... I feel like I'm picking at things, but... I said, I do that sometimes, but it's all meant in a good way, like, thinking aloud kind of thing. Just, uh, you know, very off the uh, top of the head stuff, nothing uh, serious or set in stone, you know, that type of thing. And five. So I'm guessing the red knocks off two damage. So it might be like each bag. Oh, that yeah, it would be that, I guess, would it? Each bag adds one damage, but the red one knocks off double, like knocks off two. Stinkelstein is filled with such admiration for you that he just wants to gobble you up. Hmm, that sounds a little too enthusiastic. He might actually mean it. Brace yourself, Howley. You've been hoodwinked. Or better said, hoodstinked. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Because that feels like every other time we've spared one of these, it's been fine. But in this case, you, you sort of get punished for it. Which can make sense, obviously. I said there have to be consequences. Um, but I, I expect it to be different enemy types, not the same. So that's interesting. Like, I'm not sure. Yeah. Because I feel like if that happens, you'd end up feeling encouraged just to always kill rather than spare. Because you've got to just, like, because in that case it was a double battle. I'll still go with spare because that's what we're running with. I'm just, uh, yeah. I do think too, uh, actually thinking back to the controller, th this battle system is definitely very suited for a controller. Because I feel like it'd be feel very comfortable using analog stick to navigate around and dodge like that. Uh, any, uh, oh, we're going this way. Any evil vacationers around who don't want to pay their rent on time? No, nah, or you. But actually, we didn't try it. How easy is it to run? I guess that doesn't really answer the question, but... I always get curious with, uh, run rates. Okay. Probably don't want to break it on those. Oof. Ooh, that was a... Went a little bit far. Aww. I did think that was going to happen. <laughs> Didn't think I went too close. Oof. Gotta be careful, like, how you're hitting it. It's got a good bit of movement going. Like, you can hit it diagonally to a few different directions. Oof. Aw, oh, come on. I feel like if it got that close, that shouldn't have actually happened. We'll get there. Touche. Being impatient. Let's just take it easy. Pop, pop, pop. Pop it up. Not that too far. Nice and diagonal and safe. That was almost bad. Oh, come on. Why? Who puts these things here? It's my question. <laughs> Alright, we good, we good. Very nice. The lily pad has formed a bridge. Good job, lily pad. Good job, me. Now, where are those vacationers? Ah, oh, well, hello. We meet again, yes. We have heals and we have a save. You know that bad things are ahead. Ay ay ay. We better heal up. All set. You know, whenever I play like these games like this with a really like vibrant um, colors and everything, I just feel like it looks so good on an OLED switch. 
I don't know, it's just the, any game like this where, like, you've kind of got a, like, you don't have a wide view, like, you're pretty close up to the character, like, like, from side to, the viewport, what, what am I trying to say? There's not a large area of the screen you can see. Yeah, we'll, we'll go, large area, whatever I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, I just feel like they're, like, just the perfect games for, like, laying in bed, like, OLED switch. The colors just look so good. No idea if this game's going that way, but would be nice. Sir, sir. Please help us, sir. We're stranded. There's so many monsters around. We can't get away. Is there anything you can do to help us? Hey, didn't you tell me you were searching for some delinquent tenants at the summit of Mount Janvey? I'm no, de I'm no detective, but these seem to fit the bill. Delinquent tenants? What are you talking about? We're not delinquent on anything. We made an agreement with Harold Hartman before we left. Why would he call us delinquents? Hey, I thought you said they snuck off without paying their rent. This can't be true, right? There's no way Hartman is a greedy landlord trying to extort this poor couple, right? I haven't met him, obviously, but I'm simply going off of what you implied, Howley. Listen, we're very sorry if there was a misunderstanding, but please help us get out of here. There's so many monsters, we might not make it if we don't leave right... Oh, hello. I man. Yeah, I, ice, 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 uh, Isocles? 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 Blah, blah, blah. I man. Halt. My name is I man. I work on behalf of Kagu, Kaga, Kagaku Technologies LLC. I mean you no harm. Please voluntarily submit to mandatory inspection of your group. I am tasked with searching for the Sinobera for research and development purposes. Please do not resist. Mandatory search? Sinobera? Kagu te Kaku Kagaku Technologies LLC? Oh no, Howley. I think I know what's going on here. We need to get back to your town ASAP. I'll explain everything when we get back. Hurry, let's get out of here. You have failed to comply with the mandatory inspection. Please stand by while I prepare to execute you for disobedience. Huh. Huh. Sure. Sure. As you do. Um. I feel like this is a boss, but like. Hmm. The tough thing is, is like, you, you lose out a lot with these options if they fail. I'm so curious though, let's compliment. Believing that if you pay Iron Man a compliment, he will calm down. You tell him that you like the color of his eye. <laughs> Iron Man doesn't care at all. Probably best not to speak to try to speak with him. Uh your compliment was a flop. I, I kinda suspected that may be the case. Please stand by and your execution will be swift and painless. Launching eye explosives now. How oh, lovely. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. Actually, they're a lot easier to dodge. Because you, you don't have to worry about them until they explode. <laughs> That's not bad. Can I shoot? Like, what's what's the deal? Whoa, there. That's a real-life pistol there. These guys may look scary, but they're clearly under some kind of nefarious influence. What? They don't deserve to die. Who are you talking about? The gun is the easy way out here. The, the gun is the easy way out here, Howley. You can make quick work of them if yes, but it really seems unnecessarily cruel. That being said, it can't stop you. You have to make your own decision here. What? We're talking about like a strange eye creature, right? Like why would that be? And he said them. Like it's like. It almost sounded like he was talking about the, uh, the tenants or something. Oh, you got it. Ooh. Nine damage. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure what the reason to not use that would be. I feel like there's something I'm misunderstanding about it. 
Because again, like, th this is like a weird robot thing. Maybe, maybe the first time you choose gun, that text happens no matter what. It just doesn't make as much sense when you're fighting the boss. Oh, you can only shoot once. Hmm, okay. I guess we're going to want to five damage at a time. Eh, it's something. At least their attacks aren't bad. Like, it's a lot easier not having to worry about the things coming at you as much. Ooh, wait, do they? Oh shit. Okay, they can get pretty hectic. Alright. They seemed better. We'll go with that. <laughs> Okay, gonna need to make sure we heal, because we don't have any items, do we? Because the shop was closed. Okay, right, let's play it smart. Grab the ring. Chill safely. Grab, go away. Grab, okay. Oh, we're still at 37, so that's not great. Uh, I don't remember what I need to do for these. Oh, right, I gotta collect hearts. What does this game remind me of? That game where you hit the ball up and down. I don't know what it's called, but... Good game. 63. Oh, perfect. I wonder if that was coincidentally a full heal, or... If it just happened to be... Wait, do the rings get smaller? Oh, I think I just got it when it spawned. Okay. That was pretty good. Ah. You think you are superior to me? Well, that was merely my warm-up. Prepare for my true attack. I su I man began reciting Avogadro's number to increasingly precise digits. It's boring, but has no effect ultimately. Grr. Fine then, I'll just speed up my attacks. Brace yourself, imbecile. Don't cry. I just want the rings. Oh. Hey, what? Didn't only get two? Uh, I'm not questioning it. All good. Yeah, the gun, uh, it's still grayed out, so I guess you do only get the one shot, which... I guess nine damage it was, compared to we do five here. And I guess I could have got better, I didn't hit all the targets, so... I don't know. I assume later you can probably use it more than once, but... Perhaps Dr. Kaka... Doctor, why do I feel so weird saying that? Kaka, like Kaga. Is it Kaga? 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 I assume this will be how it's said. Just it was weird rolling off the tongue. Perhaps Doctor Kakagu's calculations regarding my power were overstated. Perhaps I am in need of further biological tuning. No, I need to simply reach my final form. This eye wall attack should prevent further insubordination. Uh. I mean, uh, okay, I'll, I'll pretend that was fine, sure, we'll go with that. I'm also curious on this if I, um, oh crap, I don't know if you hit all five of them in the green that it does more damage, I, I think every time I've hit it in the yellow. Oof, give me that, ring, ooh, so close. So close. No, I guess we'll see. Oh no, it's still five. Ah. Fair enough. Oh, just one more. I think we can about manage that. Oof. Go down. And up. Oh, and around. Yes, nice. Too easy, Iron Man. Too easy. Not a problem. Some problems, but nonetheless. Great job. You defeated the enemy. What will you do next? Ah, uh, we've been sparing, so. Ah, petty weakling. Dr. Kakagu may have overestimated my strength, but he also overestimated your intelligence. Kakagu Technology LLC will be first to use the Sinobera's power. This small conflict means nothing in the end. You have surely not seen the last of us. Yeah, We'll fight again one day. It's fine. No worries.
12 XP. Oh, I got us a level. I'll take it. Ah, 60 gold though. Not bad. Alright, um... Well... I guess we'll go with power again. Wow, you actually defeated that terrifying creature? Please don't hurt us, sir. We'll pay whatever is necessary. We'll pay double, in fact. We just want to go home unharmed. Since, since we owe 60G, we'll pay 120G, no problem. We can survive on less food for a month, right, honey? Well, Hallie, what do you say? You can take the 120G and pocket the 60G for yourself. Or you can take the 60G and call it a day. This couple seems so scared, though. If you want to be nice, you can forgive their debt. And pay Hartman out of your own pocket. I'm no ethical consultant. I'm just here to lay out the facts. It's your money and your task. What will you choose? I mean... They, I mean, if it's a debt, then they owe the money, right? Like, I don't feel the need to take more from them. But if it is legitimately that... If they have a debt of 60 gold, I don't... Like, they... They can pay it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. I mean, you know, I don't want to be a dick, but I don't exactly feel the need to pay their rent for them. <laughs> we appreciate you not taking advantage of us, even in our time of need. By all means, here's the 60 G we owe. So, back to business. Let's get back to Humbleton right now. We need to discuss what is going on. Well, that was an uh, interesting fight. Phew! We made it back safely. And now is not the time to rest. Let's get Hartman out of our way so we can focus on what's been going on with all these deranged monsters. I'm sure you also want answers as to why an employee of Kaku Kagaku Technologies LLC attacked us. I'd be lying if I said I knew for certain. Well, let's head to the pub loam and discuss what I think is going on. Alright, we can do that. I'm getting me a save first, though. Mm-mm. Delicious. Very good. Now, I am curious if the shop's open. Oh! Oh, wait, no, right. It was, <laughs> it was open before. I just didn't have any stuff. That was it. Uh, welcome to Spudmart. Every day is great at your Spudmart. Ah, okay. No stock. Oh, we, uh, we can't actually go back inside of our building. Huh. I didn't realize that. Howly. How's my favorite senile old wolf friend? I kid. So, where's the tenants? Did you squeeze every last penny out of them like I asked? Ha! Ah, good work, Howley. Personally, I'd have taken the 120G they offered in a heartbeat. But that's just me. You're obviously a lot... What's the word? Dumber than I am. Ha! Ah. Hmm, what's that? Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Here's the 100G I owe you. A hundred? Pretty sure it was not a hundred, buddy. Alrighty, I'm out of here. I'm commissioning a new private ship. You should come and visit sometime. I'll give you a private tour and a free flight. Didn't he say 150? Am I crazy? I feel like he said 150. See ya. I'm pretty damn sure he said 150. Fine, I'll give you 150 C if you can bring them to me. Now please make it snappy. Okay, that, that's more like it. Okay, good work. Hartman has been paid and is out of our way. Out of our hair. Let's grab a table and discuss what I think is going on here. So, Hallie, I know this all seems like some crazy coincidence, but I've been paying attention and I think this whole fiasco with the monsters and that henchman of Kagaku Technologies LLC are related. You're a former acolyte. Do you know about the legends of the Sinnoh Bearer? Do you? No? Really? Did all that time in retirement do a number on your memory? 
The Sinnoh Bearer is the prophesied being who is said to reforge the Sinnoh Stone and bring permanent peace to the land. Nobody knows if it's true, but if it is, then everyone and their brother will be after the Sinnoh Bearer. After all, the Sinnoh Bearer is the only one who can wield the Sinnoh Stone, and that's the most powerful object in the universe. Our experiences today has me seriously wondering, is it possible the Sinnoh Bearer is among us? I know it's a one in a million chance, but why would Kaku Kagaku Technologies LLC be taking it so serious? They're the largest scientific research organization around, and they're founded by Dr. Christopher Kagaku, the smartest man in the world. He wouldn't waste his time and resources pursuing a fairy tale. Would he? Would he? I think he would. Mm, no, he wouldn't. I mean, I would assume not. You think so? As far as I know, we all grew up harvesting. <laughs> how do I even do that sometimes? The word is hearing. How, how did my brain see harvesting? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. We all grew up hearing those stories about the Celestial Quorum, the Acolytes, and the Cinnabera. I never really thought it was true. I really wish I could get more information about all of this. I want to know what is going on and if any of this is real. Also, is it a lot darker in the pub now than before? <laughs> Greetings. I don't mean to rue, but I can't help but eavesdropping on your little conversation indeed. I think you might be indeed interested to know what I know about this issue. How will you respond? Uh, tell me what you know. Indeed I shall. My name is Eldritch Van Buck. I'm a resident of this lovely town. But I've been abroad recently as part of my job as a banker. I've noticed a lot of unusual monsters too. Seems it's not just around these parts. Indeed, it seems to be a phenomenon everywhere I go. Really? That's even stranger than I expected. Tis indeed. What's even more strange is that I just got back from the desert city of Desa Desicacia, far from here. That's where the Temple of the Acolyte is. Around those parts, the locals are claiming the Cinnabar is among them. Isn't that simply stupendous? Whoa. Indeed, I do declare. I can only imagine he's as powerful and as noble as the prophecies foretell. It would have been a treat to see him. However, I wasn't able to. Tis a regret I may harbor for the rest of my life, sadly. Not if we can help it. I would love to learn more. Can you take us to Desicacia? Stop snarling, Howley. Don't you feel excited about this? This is the prophecy we've all learned about potentially coming true before our very eyes. As much as I wish I could take you, the monsters along the way are simply too numerous. We'd be exoriated before we make it half a mile. Exori <laughs> We'd be exoriated before we make it half a mile. Well, Howler here is a former acolyte and he knows how to deal with those monsters. I've seen him do it too. Is that so? As an acolyte, I'm sure this is in the utmost interest to you. Sir, won't you deign to come along with us and provide protection? Won't you? No, definitely no. <laughs> No. Well, we can't all have our dreams come true. Thanks for letting me share my tales with you. I'll see myself off now. Good night. <laughs> oh, alrighty. I, I guess we're not going then. <laughs> Bye. Don't want to hang out? No? Oh, alrighty. Well, Hallie, I guess this is the end of the line for us. It was fun while it lasted, but if you're just wanting to stay in this town and enjoy retirement, then we'll have to part ways, I'm afraid. It's sad too, because I felt we were a good team. Good night, Hallie. Thanks for all the help. I won't soon forget about you. I'm kind of like, is this real? Like, I'm kind of wondering if this isn't like a how the demo ends, but in the real one, you can actually choose yes, maybe. I might be overthinking it. Oh, there's a giant portal in our bedroom, so anything is possible. <laughs> yeah? Giant, yeah, all right. Let's... Good luck, Howley. <laughs> Not sure why there's a portal in our room. Oh, can we... Oh, we can control it. Okay. Uh... Yeah, no context. I have nothing to say. 
just kind of strange. Hi, how are you? Welcome, treasured guest, to the Celestial Ether. We are monks who serve the Celestial Quorum and any of their guests. Please do not hesitate to beseech us if you're in need of assistance. Okay. When in the presence of the Celestial Quorum, allow yourself to be enraptured by this splendor. Such enlightenment will surely benefit you greatly. Okay. The Celestial Quorum awaits you. Please proceed forward and do not fear. We are your friends. Are you? I don't trust anyone who puts a portal in my room. I'm just saying. So, how you doing? Morton R. How oh, Morton R. Howley. It has been some time since we have laid eyes on you. And it is with great pleasure that we do so again now. Please, do not be afraid. We mean you no harm. Your memory of us is erased, but rest assured you were one of our most treasured instruments. So important was your work that when you retired from your post, all knowledge that you possessed of us was erased. This was done so that you may live unshackled from the burdensome chains of your duty as our direct intercessor. So allow us to introduce ourselves as if we were never acquainted. I am... Alterinity Rombadon. Rom Rombadon? I am Alterinity Rombadon, Hierarch of the Rombadon family and the Righteous Enforcer of Justice. I am Reciter Rombadon, Bestower of Wisdom and Herald of Divine Prophecy. And I am Calliam Rombadon, Champion of Strength and Exemplar of Forbearance. Together we are the Celestial Quorum, Benevolent Protectors of the Corporal World. It is our duty to ensure the peace and harmony which has been so graciously afforded to us is maintained. To that end, we have summoned you here in hopes that you may once more rise to the face of your sacred duty of yore. However, our first order of business should be to return your old memory to you. Now that you remember all those years and as our loyal acolyte, we shall explain what has transpired. We have felt a great tremor across the fabric of our world. A tremature? A, a tremature? What the hell is a tremature? We have felt a great tremor across the fabric of our world. A tremature which portends the emergence of the Cinnabera. The fulfillment of the prophecy is nigh. To our immense relief, the Cinnabera is but a small child who, her herself, attracts little attention as of now. If she can be brought before us in a timely manner, we may place her under our holy protection. We can then ensure that she is not taken advantage of by the ill-intentioned. You, Morton Howling, are our former acolyte. Your knowledge of the corporal world is great utility to us. For this reason, you are able, you are our instrument once more. You will be outfitted with all that you need and return to your world so that you may find the Cinnabera and safely deliver her to our care. Additionally, you will be tasked with securing the fragments from the other acolytes so that the Cinnabera stone may be once more assembled and destroyed once and for all. We must make haste. I fear knowledge of the Cinnabera's presence may spread swiftly and ex exorably. Those who seek power beyond their wildest dreams will doubtless flock to claim the Cinnabera as their slave. The prophecy states that the assembly of the Sinu Stone will bring peace, but in the wrong hands, its unfathomable power will surely bring chaos. I sense our friend is uneasy. I believe he is wondering about the whereabouts of the other acolytes. Hmm? That is a subject which weighs heavy on our hearts, but alas is of great importance. When we entrusted the Sinu Stone's fragments into the hands of the acolytes, a covenant was forged and allegiance sworn. We, the Celestial Quorum, swore to uphold peace and harmony. They, in turn, swore allegiance to assist us in that endeavor. The Acolytes have become aware of the Cinnabera's presence, and the allure of the Cinnabera's power has tragically corrupted them. They have betrayed their divine purpose and committed he heresy. Heres they have betrayed their divine purpose and committed heresy by ignoring our commands and disobeying our directives. 
They can no longer be trusted. In fact, they constitute a grave danger to the world and ought, therefore, to be eliminated. Thus, as you proceed along your quest to reclaim the fragments from the Acolytes, I implore you do not endanger the Sinner Bearer. If, through the execution of your heavenly duty, it should become necessary to slay the Acolytes, you have our permission to do so. As much as it pains us to say so, the tranquility of our world is in peril. We cannot allow sentimentalities to cloud your judgment, our judgment. The path you will soon tread will assuredly be a perilous one. You will encounter many corrupted souls who will endeavor to impede you. But we are confident in your ability to succeed. We know you will be true to your duty as you were during your service as a former acolyte. When you return triumphant, all will, re all will revere you as the anointed savior. You will go down in history as a deity. Go, Morton Howley. March forth to fulfill your purpose. Act with the grace and dignity of a wolf tasked with a divine objective. Bring us the Sinnoh Bearer and the Sinnoh Stone, and together we shall safeguard the peace and harmony of our time once and for all. The hopes and prayers of us all now rest on your shoulders. Alright, no pressure. No. Just, you know, gotta save the world in like three different ways. It's fine. Sure. No other acolytes to help or anything. The Cinnabera is here, and Howley has his mission. To secure the Cinnabera and seize the fragments from the mutinous acolytes. When duty calls, Howley answers. Thus begins his quest. Cinnostone. It still could possibly be Cinnostone, but until someone corrects me. Oh, I just realized, unless I'm mistaken, right? That the stone inside Sinnoh is the Sinnoh stone, right? But I'm, am I mistaken that that inside the O there, isn't that the same thing that we are in battle, but like it's just fully gray? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like a gray version of that, which makes me wonder if that doesn't like, maybe it fills out as you get the pieces? Or I could just be like mixing things up and they happen to look similar. Hmm. Either way, that looks like that is the uh, that is it for the demo of Sinnoh Stone. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I really did. Uh, I know I picked it a few things, but I said I just every time I do that, I feel like I have to qualify things because you know, internet and such, and things can just come off certain ways. But it's always uh, coming from a good place when I do. You know, uh, I, I tend to like pick and ramble more about the things I'm enjoying, honestly. <laughs> Because uh, I did really like this. Um, I think the only things I would really want is... Um, I guess it's been the same with every game. I always just want save slots, saving anywhere. I I find games like this rarely add anything by having set saves. Uh, maybe there's aspects that I'm not thinking of, but I, I generally just never see any benefit to it over having saving anywhere in the menu. I, I, I don't know. I feel like this is one of the things, like if, you, if you're able to poll most JRPG style game players like I feel like it'd be like 90% plus would vote for saving anywhere over set saves unless it made a difference you know oh there's more Dr. Ka uh, Ka <laughs> Dr. Kaga why do I f I don't know why that name throws me off Kaga Kaga Ku Dr. Kaga Ku Thank you for coming in. We now have new data to report. Hmm? Is that so? I hope it's all good news. I've already fired enough employees today. Haha. <laughs> Our I-Man field units have made contact with us. They've reported two potential sightings of the Cinnabera. Stupendous! What delightful news! Where are, where did these sightings take place? It appears the current location of the Cinnabera, if our reports are correct, is the desert city of Desiccatia. We are deploying additional I-Men field units in the vicinity to discreetly monitor the activity of... Nonsense, you imbecile. What a timid fellow you are. How dare you make such a rash decision to discreetly monitor the activity. Sir, I... Silence. I want more of our lab crafter monsters deployed to the scene immediately. I want our attack robots deployed as well. Spare no expense. We cannot let the Sinnoh evade our grasp because we are afraid and wish to collect data beforehand. 
Any good scientist will tell you that the best science is the science done quickly and with petty concern for minor details. Did we even verify your educational background when we hired you? Don't answer that. Anything else to report? Yes, sir. Although we've established contact with the vast majority of our Ironman field units, we failed to contact one in particular. Ironman field unit 92065 has not made contact with us. We're unsure why. Where was unit 92065 deployed to? Mount Jambi, sir. Hmm, Mount Jambi is near the village of Humbleton. I know some old retired acolyte lives there. I doubt it, but perhaps 92065 had the mis fortune of encountering said former acolyte. However, for all I know, that stupid old wolf has long since died of rabies or something like that. Hehe. <laughs> I'm not going to let one unresponsive field unit sidetrack us from our main mission. Listen up, everyone. I'm sure you have all been made aware of the recent unconfirmed sightings of the Cinnabarra. I think it is time that we escalate our investigatory efforts. I want more of our monster creations deployed. I want more of our field units deployed. And I want more of our attack bots deployed. If we don't ramp up our efforts, someone else will get their hands on the Cinnabarra. Naturally, Kagaku Technologies LLC must be the one to achieve this. After all, if we don't, you're all fired. Ha! So, spare no expense. We will find the Cinnabarra. Don't let this timid coward behind me take things slow. That's how we'll squander our opportunity. I hope my high-pitched voice doesn't master the seriousness of my ambition. Before us is the opportunity to harness unlimited power for our benefit. If we don't act quickly, our inferior competitors might get lucky and capture the Cinnabarra, and then they will have access to that unlimited power. I can only imagine how adversely our stock price will be affected by that, let alone your 401ks. Point is, I expect the Cinnabarra in this laboratory ASAP. We will not let anyone get in our way. Seems there's a few more Iron Men. So I guess we will be meeting them again. Sinnoh Stone, an indie title currently under development by Sinu Kaiju. It could be Sino, but I'm going Sino. I'm pretty sure it's Sino. Mainly because there's some like Kaiju, I mean that's Japanese. So I, I would assume Sino rather than Sino, but yeah. But yeah, again to remind you, uh, if you did like this, there is a Kickstarter active. I think it has seven days left, so um, yeah, link in the description if you do want to check that out. But uh, yeah, I was um, I thought it finished there when I got the credits rolled. But um, what was I saying? Uh, I think I was just touching on. Oh, right, the saving, yeah, which I think I said what I want to say on that. Um, just I think it's just always better to have save anywhere. Not that this like was a problem or anything; it's just general. Um, I'm curious about the battles long term. Said so, like I liked fighting the like yeah. I think I, I probably said what I need to say on that too. Really. Um, I like the battle system, but ultimately I could see myself getting tired of it when it comes to the random encounters, just because it does take a lot more, like, unlike a turn-based game that doesn't have active elements, you know, you can really just take it easy through most of random encounters, you don't have to think that much, um, which can be good or bad, depending on what you like, um, but it's something you can you know, get a bit more formulaic with, I guess. You pay less attention. Which, again, I don't know if that's not necessarily good or bad. Um, I just feel like with this, it's a very, very active thing. Which said, <laughs> I feel like I say, like, good or bad again. Um, I don't know. I said, I, because I do like it. My only concern is just that it might get a bit overbearing with a lot of random encounters. But that's, it's again, either way, it's super subjective, you know. There's people who probably hate traditional JRPG turn-based combat because it's too boring to them, and they would love the, the being more active like this, so, you know. And obviously, um, there's all them other options for complimenting and talking and befriending and stuff, so, uh, yeah, and obviously I don't know if the gun gets any changes to where you can shoot that more. You know, there, there's a lot of little things, um... So I just feel like I just got to reiterate the whole, like, take everything I say with a grain of salt, because it's based off the demo. It's very much off of the top of the head first impressions. Um, but uh, other than that, it was all good. Like, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Um, 
I do think there should be an options thing on the start here. Again, it's a demo, um, but it is a little weird to have to start into a game and then go full screen. Because, like, you're not necessarily going to check for that as soon as you jump into a game. Like, your, your natural sort of assumption would be an options would be on here. Um, I'm also curious if the status menu will be expanded because it's, like, super plain. It's just, like, the black screen with white text, uh, which is fine. But I feel like even with one that's really basic, you can still have, like, um, I don't know, like, a, a portrait and stuff. I, I don't know. I feel like it could just be expanded a little more. Um, I said what one thing that I've mentioned before like these days is you know with demos it's sort of hard to know how to take them because it's sometimes hard to tell whether you're dealing with a demo of the finished game as in like a small slice of the start that is polished or if you're dealing with more like a alpha beta type of demo you know where things for the full game are actually going to shift quite a bit by uh, that time but uh, yeah, either way, I think I've uh, said enough, rambled enough. Uh, I think I got most of that while playing, just uh, I don't know, trying to collect my thoughts at the end. But yeah, it was really good. I, um, yeah, I'm glad I ran into it. I'm curious how big the game will be too. But yeah, um, yeah, just uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have suggestions for anything else good. Um, let me know if you run into anything else good during the uh, Steam Next Festival. Seems like there's going to be some good stuff there. And, um, yeah, just, uh, yeah, be well, stay hydrated, thank you, and I'll see you in something else soon. Bye-bye.